Good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Oh, beautiful right hand. Shed and building some confidence. Can a tentative jab from Throx takes the right hand? He's not throwing the jab with confidence for Throx. He's struggling with the range and the oh! And look at the speed again. Frost just launched himself in, and Groves was gone, long gone. That was class from George Groves. That was downright cheek. Oh, from George that Groves. Jab. And there's some more of the same. That was a terrific shot. There's more, another one. Another one, and three more. And this is big stuff from George Groves. Huge right hands. But get him into the fight. There it goes again. Defense is non existent. This is turning into a night of disaster for Carl Frosch. And the worst could be yet to come. Missed that time. Frosch on him straight away, but couldn't sustain the assault. And George Groves dropped his gloves and said, come on. What a terror. Frosch is giving it everything now. But can he land anything clean? Huge pressure, but anything getting through, a right hand I think might have done, but he's still ducking and swaying and then boring him with the head, Groves. You are seeing the foolishness of youth there. Groves is so relaxed, just taking his times, doing that again as I'm speaking. But not far, beautiful stuff. And Frost was shaken to his boots again by that right hand. So, oh, beautiful shots again from Groves. And still, Frost is standing tall and then lands a right hand of his own and Groves has wobbled. Groves is in big trouble now and Frost senses it. And Frost is going for the finish because Groves' legs have gone. And Groves hanging on here, just holding and spoiling, trying to buy some time. But Frost smells blood here. I think Frost needs to finish it here. He really does. Groves, Groves is, is in trouble. Thing. He's taking another one. And and Howard Foster has stopped it! Wow! That is going to be controversial! Groves is disgusted! Groves is furious! And there's going to be some controversy here! Frotch had him in trouble, no question about that! But he was so far ahead, George Groves! Was he in so much trouble that it required a stoppage? That's the question that's going to be asked over and over again! Well, considering the punches that both men took leading up to that, considering what was on the line, I feel that it was taken and he was getting caught clearly on the chin. It was worrying, I'm not, I'm not saying it wasn't a worrying scenario, I wouldn't like to have been the one who had to deal with it, but what was at stake? I mean, Groves, if he had gone on the floor, you know, the, the, the eight seconds clearly said he had like a 